While what's going on right now is that we have about more than 8,000 students that are unable to register because they need to pay outstanding fees from last year. So the university is not allowing them to register because of these outstanding fees that they have. And these students happen to fall into what we call the middle man students, which is students that are too rich for NASFIS, but too poor to afford university fees. So we have a financial crisis where there's a huge number of students that aren't able to register and the university is just not allowing them to register. Mm. So what are some of the dynamics that have led to, to this situation? You know, when the academic year starts, you try to be as prepared yes. as you possibly can, especially financially. But, you know, COVID-19 has mm -hmm. really thrown a curveball sure. at everybody. Talk us through some of the eventualities that have led many students into this situation. Well, I think we've seen the effects of the pandemic. The entertainment industry has been totally wiped out. The tourism industry has been totally wiped out. Our economy is actually at its lowest. So many students have parents that have lost jobs, have parents that have even lost lives. So at this moment, students are trying to pick up the pieces, but now we have a situation whereby students are trying to pick up pieces and there's also outstanding fees so we have students from so many backgrounds. We actually have a student who is a medical student who had an average of about 80%, yet she cannot register because of outstanding fees. So it doesn't matter how excellent your academic performance is. If you don't have the money, you're out. At all. It does not matter at all. We've got many exceptional students, outstanding students, and it's not that they are academically incapable. They are very capable. It's just that they don't have the means to. And, and from what you're saying, it's quite clear um, that it's not a one size fits all policy. You know, students have got different circumstances. They've got different needs. How are you as the SRC trying to have those needs met? At, this, at the moment, we're actually engaging with internal and external stakeholders to find a solution for SRC, uh, for students, sorry. We've already spoken to management and you know, we didn't reach common ground with management, but we do continue to engage with them and negotiate with both the university and external stakeholders to actually have a solution. And right now we're even calling out to the public, we're calling out to the government, we're calling out to as much people as possible to assist because right now students, many have lost people that are very close to them and they are now on the brink of losing their degrees too. I don't know if you've got into this detail, but what is the RAND value of the, the amount of money that would be needed to at least cover outstanding fees for next year before we even start looking at registration uh, for this year? Well, in total, the outstanding fees for all students right now is 80 million. The hardship fund that we have at WITS is only able to cover 10 million. So in order to register, students would have to be like, uh, to have to pay 50% of the outstanding debt. So that would bring the outstanding debt down to 40 million, but the hardship fund can only cover 10 million, which is not even a quarter of the amount that is needed for students to register. So what is your ask from university management? Well, what we ask from management is to take into consideration the effects of the pandemic, because we did raise a concession with management to at least allow students with 150,000 or less to register because last year they allowed students with 110,000, 120,000 or less to register. But now they've said they've brought that down from 120,000 to 10,000. So we'd just like the university to take into consideration that we do have the effects of the pandemic and there is a fee increment as we speak. So we just like them to take into consideration the lives of students the effects of this pandemic, the economy. Students don't have money. There's a fee increase, in, and yet for a large part of the year, um, you know, a lot of institutions were closed. Yeah. What kind of conversation are you having with management around that? We did actually ask that because the fee increment is actually not even a university issue. It's a national issue. Fees everywhere have been increased in all universities, and I think the standard is about 4.7%. And we had this conversation with the university and they said that, okay, since we are, we can't go back on the fee increment, what we can do is reimburse students for some of the fees that we paid last year. 
So there was a percentage of fees that were reimbursed last year, but even that percentage was not enough. And how has um, the, the management actually assisted you? They've reduced it from 150,000 or less to 10,000 less. I'm sure that's a huge burden yes. that's removed off the shoulders of a lot of students. What else have they offered? No, the 150,000, we brought it to them. We brought it to the table. We said, please allow students with at least 150,000 or less to come back. But they rejected that. They only said students with 10,000 or less will be allowed to come back. Okay. So what is the way forward? The way forward right now for us is to get as many people on board. Now we are appealing to civil society, we're appealing to governments, we're appealing to management, even students. We are appealing to everyone to get involved because we are in the midst of a financial crisis and tomorrow we will be announcing um, a way forward as the SRC because we have been planning, we have been finding ways to try and curb this financial crisis that we're in. So we will announce what we have been working on tomorrow. And hopefully it's welcomed with warm hands. And, and, and looking at the fact that people's financial situations have changed between last year and this year, those who would not ordinarily have qualified for NSFAS may actually qualify now mm -hmm. because there has been a change mm -hmm. of living conditions and a change of, of financial muscle. Is that something that has been considered by a majority of the students? And are you, as the SRC, assisting to bridge that gap? It is something that can be considered, but we have to look at the fact that there's only a few days left of registrations, and NASFIS is only assisting students that are as, apart from the health sciences faculty in March. So right now, students are very disgruntled, frustrated, because registrations are closing. They don't have a plan forward. They've got thousands and thousands of money that needs to be paid off before they can even start their academic year. Are you talking to business at all? We are, actually, but that is something that we will... When I mentioned external stakeholders, we have approached businesses, but this is something that we will announce tomorrow. Well, we certainly wish you the, the best of good fortune you. as you try and create you know, something out, out of nothing. Certainly yes. not an easy position, specifically at Definitely. the start of an academic year. Thank you so much. Thank